Good evening everyone from the car. It is about 6.20 p.m. in the evening as you can see like I said p.m. and evening in the same sentence. We'll ignore that but yeah it feels like it's already way past 10 in the night but yeah it's only 6.20 and I have just gotten into the mood for a home sense run. I feel like going and checking out this season's uh, decor that they have and um, I want to see some things for the home, I want to see some things for the restaurant, I just want to basically go take a look around the, at the stores and uh, on the way I'm thinking that I'll probably get myself a hot chocolate and um, I feel like this is one of those evenings that I absolutely look forward to when Christmas is coming and uh, I know it's not Sue's favorite pastime to do shopping, um, so it's just going to be me. But I get to do what I want to do and Sue gets to do what he wants to do, so it's a win-win. Um, I'll probably drag him along for another Christmas uh, decor run, maybe in the future, like in the upcoming vlogs. The heated seat is on and now let's go. I think first I am gonna go and get a hot chocolate on the way and then I'm gonna head into the stores. Well, the stores are open till 9 p.m. and it's only 6.20, 6.30 so I guess I will have uh, plenty of time to browse through the stores and enjoy my hot chocolate as well. Uh, sure, can I get a medium uh, hot chocolate with one cream? Are they out? No, that would be all, thanks. Bye. You will not believe, I have been in this parking lot for the last 20 minutes and I just had to get on a call because there was some confusion uh, between the staff and a guest at the restaurant and it all got sorted and uh, now I'm gonna peacefully enjoy my hot chocolate. Sue gave me this tip of adding uh, a shot of cream to uh, a medium uh, hot chocolate. He says you should do two creams for a large hot chocolate, one cream for a medium hot chocolate and a half a cream for a small hot chocolate because otherwise the hot chocolate is really sweet and um, <clears throat> the cream just makes it creamy and uh, it sort of takes care of the sweetness as well it sort of balances it so I'm sipping that and home sense is right there waiting for me <laughs> to step in and I'm excited wow this is just I think the right temperature because I was on call for about like 15 20 minutes I completely forgot about the hot chocolate so I thought it'll be cold by now but um, I am glad that that is not the case this is just right this is just right and i'm enjoying it so much i honestly have not been inside any of the stores so far so i don't know what to expect usually we just see a lot of different variations of the the trees as decor there's a lot of floral arrangements there's snowflakes i'm looking at some baubles as well and i think i want to go ahead with a different theme for my christmas tree this year i have so many decor pieces at home as well but i'm thinking that i will probably do like a mix and match of those use a few and i'm also thinking of having two christmas trees this year um so yeah i think both of them will have a entirely different theme so i can't wait i think let's just get in before the store actually closes on me <laughs> yeah let's just do that how cute is this candle it's an evergreen pine forest and the trees on top were a cute touch Honestly, so cute for us all Instagram lovers. <laughs> mm. 
both these stockings look so beautiful but i'm feeling more green this year i don't know why but i'm not inching towards red this year i have a strong feeling it's going to be a white christmas i'm actually hoping for one <laughs> But yeah, for some reason I'm more attracted towards non-red colors this season and I don't even know why. But yeah, what do you think between the red and green? I'm really liking the green more. Both are pretty, no doubt. I was looking for some tree skirts and there's like thousands of them over here. And while you can't really make out what this one would look like, there's a nice photo that depicts it. And it looks really nice. So I guess I'm gonna go for it. I really like these sort of champagne rose gold um, baubles. But then as soon as I moved these, I saw these. These are made in India. <laughs> and these look so beautiful. Goodness. It's difficult to do this with one hand already holding the camera. But how pretty. What's the price on these? $20. That's not bad at all. For lovers of the office, we have a piggy bank. And for border heads, we have a Quidditch box. The collectible with all of the balls that they play with, except for the snitch. The golden snitch. <laughs> That's missing. But you see the quaffle and the bludgers. Wow pretty cute. I was just wondering that this might open up and it does but I think someone's already stolen the snitch from the store. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hello from home and the update on my recent HomeSense shopping haul is the fact that I wanted to buy this much stuff and I bought just this. <laughs> I think um, we could really, and this is such a non-Christmassy thing to be honest, this is just a shower curtain that I instantly knew I had to get because I'm really inching towards green like I mentioned and I just felt like this would be an ideal green for, green for the washroom. So yeah, I'm instantly going to change it. I was not able to find a bath mat that matched the this green, this shade of green. So yeah, the hunt for that is still on. And I'm just going to replace this one in the meantime. And yeah. Now after that, I'm probably going to get the toothbrush holders, the soap dispensers. <laughs> that match the theme and we all know how that ends so yeah i'm really happy with this one though it's quite nice Sue has very entertainingly i mean very i don't even know if that's a word <laughs> but yeah with great interest he's seen all the videos that i shot at the stores not stores store at the home sense store i was just showing him everything that i saw and that i wanted to buy but i didn't buy so I appreciate you paying attention uh, to everything that I had to show you from my phone. My pleasure. Also, can we watch another Christmas movie tonight? Hi. <laughs> Kidhar? <laughs> what? You're gonna pick a movie? <laughs> he just left. <laughs> he just left the room. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is about eight thirty in the morning. And it is such a gorgeous day. I mean, I'm not used to seeing the sun so much in November and neither the clouds. This looks so pretty and it is so pleasant. There's just the right amount of chill in the air and the sun is shining, which means it's still kind of warm. I love the sound of nature as well. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Presenting my most favorite croissants that even Sue is addicted to. Whoa, <laughs> what's that? That's a chocolate espresso scroll. Chocolate and coffee. Really I wanted that what I wanted. You can have that one. This is the tiramisu, pistachio, all. Nutella, and the coffee espresso. I'm 
all set to go for an event. Candle. I literally smell like candle. We also have an apple fritter scented candle. Yeah, yeah. So cinnamony. I don't know, snow globes always excite me. Um, it's a very cute cake stand with like donuts and apple fritters and a honey cooler also on top. It's too cute. Thank you, that's the prettiest wrap. Thank you. They have named all the reindeers as well. You can see Dasher, Dancer, Pixie, Cupid. Where's Rudolph? I don't see Rudolph. I'm giving you a first look of the Dior Christmas tree. <laughs> Even this year's tree is sponsored by Dior. And they're still setting it up, they're decorating it. Hello, hello everyone. I was just editing the video and I realized that I didn't really film uh, an ending scene of the vlog. Well, I actually took you to the Tim Hortons Winter Wonderland event with me and uh, I shared like a lot of footage from that event. Basically what the event was about, um, basically what the event was about, what, what am I saying? <laughs> basically what the event was about, what, what is going on? <laughs> okay, we'll try this again. Basically what the event was. Have I forgotten English? I'm gonna try rephrasing the whole thing. The event was about, we got it right. <laughs> the event was about um, Tim's, one, Tim's Winter Wonderland, wherein they wanted to showcase all their winter specials. So they recently collaborated with Bailey's. They are serving the non-alcoholic version of that in their drinks and I quite like the Bailey's iced cap, I would say. I didn't enjoy um, 
other flavors i mean other variations of the baileys coffees as much but i really enjoyed the baileys ice cap so i would recommend it and i also tried their candy cane hot chocolate that's been around for a few years i think two at least but i've never had it so i tried that as well and you would enjoy it if you are into peppermint flavors and nobody at home really enjoys that i love peppermint i love mint in my chocolate so i i love a good peppermint mocha so basically that candy cane hot chocolate sort of tastes similar to what a peppermint mocha would taste like if that makes sense anyway so the event had a lot of fun games and uh, i could do things like make my own donut as you must have seen then we could customize our own hot chocolate to our liking you know add in whatever toppings we would want and uh, they gave us gifts to take home to and uh, i got a really nice um, christmas ornament and i think i shot that in the video as well you must have seen so i don't know that event was really fun i really enjoyed myself so thank you so much for watching i think this is probably just the beginning of what the month of december is going to hold for all of us um i think in every video you're just going to hear me say i'm really excited for christmas and uh, stay tuned for all the more Christmassy things that I'm about to do because I'm going to take you along. And I really hope you enjoy watching all of that. So take care. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.